Good morning. Thought I'd bring you a little real estate update. I just left Ammo Cafe. Let me see here. Oh, there we go. Ammo Cafe in Mooresville. Nice little local coffee shop. If you are um, out and about and want to get coffee, they are open all week now. They were open just Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But the small businesses are hurting, as I'm sure you know. So help out our small businesses. But heading to the office, and I was just reading an article waiting on my coffee about the housing new, new home starts. And we are off about 30% in single family new home starts. Multifamily was off about 40%, which is huge. And I, that's just, it's gonna be a concern. I think we're gonna see a housing inventory crisis because we have about 330 million people in this country. We add about 30 million or 3 million people per year to the population. Some people obviously die of old age, people are born, immigration, all that stuff. We add about 3 million people per year to our population in the United States. We can support about 1.2 million new home starts. People grow up, get married, have babies, they want to have a house, that sort of thing. So we peaked out in 2007 at about 1.2, 1.3 million new home starts and then rolled over, went down to about 500,000 new home starts, if I remember. We got back up to almost a million new home starts for single family near the end, January of this year, end of last year. But we are now off 30% for April. The April numbers are in. And we're back down to about 700,000 new home starts. So, and from what I'm hearing, I just got off the phone with a guy that a um, good buddy of his runs, is the project manager for a big national firm. These national firms even are really cutting back on starts. Like this particular company is only doing to be built homes. Like you got to put a deposit down in order to get a house started. They're not building any spec homes at all right now. So I think we're going to see. I just put a piece of property under contract. Meritage is our buyer for this big piece of land, but they're taking a year to do their due diligence and stuff. So it's going to be a year and a half, almost two years by the time they get it graded and get houses actually built and out of the ground so they can sell them. So that's 2022 before any of that stuff at that 100 acre parcel is going to be coming out of the ground so I think we're gonna see the resale market do pretty well over the next six months to a year I think we are gonna see some um, foreclosures in this market because people are losing their jobs and not, not all the jobs are going to be coming back but there just isn't the inventory coming from new construction that we need so it's going to be interesting to see how all this pans out. Um, I was talking to a guy yesterday, and we were just talking about what is going to be the shift in housing. Is it going to be more multi-generational housing like we were we see in other countries, like um, Hispanics and um, some of the Asian cultures, multiple generations live in a home. He's, he's had his parents with him. Uh, now since all this is started and he says he's closer to his parents now than he's ever been I'm selling a house for a couple that's moving back to Ohio to be close to their son so the families are coming back closer together uh, it's gonna be interesting to see how all this works out but I think we're going to see a shortage of housing um, you have to have new construction in order to have enough housing for a growing population because if I sell my house to you and you sell your house to somebody else and they sell their house to me well we all have just changed houses we haven't actually created any new inventory so that's the reason I wanted to bring up the new construction starts to you if you have any questions about real estate or have any thoughts uh, definitely leave those below in this video but feel free to call me at 704-360-0667 